I think carbon pricing is extremely helpful and wherever it's possible we should be trying to do that. Um, and that can start with reducing fossil fuel subsidies but it also can be positive uh, rewards for good activities like protecting forests and penalties for, for certain activities like using fossil fuels um, in large corporations. So, but the details of how it should be done, it could be a carbon tax, it could be a, a cap and trade or an emissions trading system, it could be subsidies for um, renewable expansion or for better truck fleets, uh, for public transport, etc. It will be different in different places. Um, so long as, as that happens. And it's also not the only policy. Sometimes people think that there's just one policy and that if we get the carbon price, we're done. It's one part of a whole suite of policies, but it helps the others. There are some people who have a large stake in assets that will be worth less and they will fight very hard to protect those and often they're very powerful. So that stops policies that would be beneficial to everyone and often they're very influential and they can take other people along and make them also think that the policies are a bad idea. So that's one. The other challenge is simply capacity to design and implement really effective policies that are equitable because they have to be tailored to each location because everybody's economy and society is different and often that capacity is, is just very short. I think my biggest takeaway from this conference is the huge challenge we've got in building local capacity to design very good carbon and climate related policies and taxes and not only design them but be able to communicate how they're good and and make sure that they actually do get implemented in effective ways. Mm -hmm.